Alright, it's been a while since I did my last video on the Apple TV. Um, I figured for this video I'm going to be talking about specifically DVD playing and why it is um, <clears throat> something you should look into. Uh, if you're using your Apple TV as a media center type uh, PC that is, you should really look into purchasing a DVD uh, ROM drive or DVD burner, but obviously you won't be burning DVDs. Um, the, the idea behind the Apple TV is to pretty much get away from DVDs. However, I found it is one of the most powerful DVD players you can have in your living room. Uh, that said, I'm going to hook my Apple TV back up. I took it out and it's been sitting here and it's still hot to the touch. I mean, this thing uh, it's it's unbearable how hot it gets. There's there's absolutely no cooling, no vents. I mean, it's 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 basically a, a hot plate. You could probably cook things on it. So I'm gonna go back here and plug everything back in. I basically took it apart so I could clean the uh, dust and what have you off of this. So I'm gonna go back here and plug everything back in. Now what I have here is a cheap. Uh, this is like a $10 enclosure I got off of eBay. Uh, this, the DVD-ROM drive I took out of a old laptop. It's a really nice drive, but obviously I don't need to burn DVDs. So, yeah, it's just a real cheap something I threw together. I'm going to go ahead and plug everything back in. Or try to. There's three connections on the... Apple TV, which is audio, USB, and HDMI. I use optical audio. And it can be a pain to plug in. USB. HDMI is back there somewhere. Found it. And then power. Okay, there's power. Tuck everything back in there. Switch to the Apple TV station, as I like to call it. And let's back up. Got you guys mounted on a tripod. Booting up. Now some information I have. I don't have the latest version of Apple TV. They just released a new software update. I have the version before that. I have the latest version of Neato TV, which that allows me to get the USB support, hard drive support, um, Xbox Media Center, Boxy, all the fun stuff. This is a boot up video. Now what's, what's nice is, well, I wouldn't say what's nice, but randomly, <laughs> I reset my Apple TV and that boot up screen started working again. I It had not been working for a year. <laughs> I don't know why. I got the Apple TV used, so... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, hopefully you guys can... Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Neato TV. And the settings. You'll see DVD, and you can select your import destination. You can decide to skip the menu, which I have off because that is unstable, and DVD alerts are on. So the first thing I'm going to show you is playback. So what you're going to do is you fire up Xbox Media Center. The DVD that I'm going to be playing is Monsters, Inc. Now what's important... 
Hopefully you guys saw that. What's important about Monsters, Inc. is that it is a Disney movie. If you are someone who copies DVDs you, or backs them up, you should know that already, you should know that Disney DVDs are a pain in the ass to copy. So you basically just pop it in there. Xbox Media Center is going to read it. Let me zoom back out. You can see my blinky light on my DVD going crazy. Takes a bit and there it goes. Starts up, Dolby Digital, 5.1 surround sound working. That's important that it works in Xbox Media Center because 5.1 surround sound does not work in Neato TV. I'm going to turn it down so you don't hear any of the audio. I'm skip all that. Okay, so it plays just fine. I'm going to stop the DVD and I'm going to get out of Xbox Media Center since you already know already know that it works. Okay, so I'm back here. Now, what's important to note is that the DVD is still in there and I'm going to go over how... Okay, so what we do is we go up to Files and it queues up the DVD. Now, I can hit the Over button and what I can do is I can copy this. Actually, let me see what it is. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, wait, you hit play. Starts to load up. And then you click import DVD. Now, I'm not going to click import DVD, but I can confirm that it does work. What it's going to do is it's going to back up the complete DVD up into my specified folder on the hard drive on the Apple TV. Now, this is awesome because you're not going to get a DVD player that can do that. You can't, you know, there's, it just isn't in the cards. Unless you've got an actual Mac Mini or HTPC sitting in your living room, it's not going to do that. So what you do is you hit the over button and it ejects it. Good to go. Take the DVD out. Close it. And you're good to go. Now, so what's important about this is, like I said, this is this is a Disney DVD and it does import it just fine. I have run into trouble um, trying to import Disney DVDs using an actual PC or Mac. So this Apple TV must be able to get around the copyright protection at a lower level or something. I, I Personally, I don't know. Um, but once again, DVD playback on Neato TV does not offer 5.1 surround sound at this time. I've read the forums, I've been on the IRC, there's just some sort of bug that just does not allow it, it plays back stereo. And I've talked to, well I've posted in the forums of Xbox Media Center saying, hey, you know, DVD playback on Xbox Media Center through the Apple TV lets you get 5.1 surround sound and they were just like astounded, they didn't know it worked that way. Now the only problem is, I'm starting, I'm kind of rambling here, the only problem is you cannot, well you can, there's a way to eject DVDs from Xbox Media Center. I can show that to you right now real quick. This video is getting kind of long. So you go to Xbox Media Center, I'm not going to put the DVD in because it's going to take forever to load and it's going to do all sorts of stuff. But anyways, you go to, configure the system, you hit over, you go to File Manager, and right now it says DVD drive 258 megabytes, that's wrong. When there's an actual DVD in there and the DVD has stopped, that's the key. You have to have the DVD stopped because then it stops reading it. You can hold down the menu button, which you'll get the, the contextual menu, and you can hit eject and load that will eject the drive. Yes, you're jumping through hoops. There is no contextual menu for DVD. DVD will show up here on the left in between like videos and movies or something, but you cannot hit 
over. There is just no contextual menu for this skin, which is media stream. Very annoying, but you know, this whole thing is a hack job to begin with. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and for you Apple TV owners that don't have a DVD uh, drive, you should think about purchasing one. It does upconvert DVDs. Um, it gives you all the, the advanced features of Xbox Media Center, and it's awesome because you can copy the DVD right to your hard drive if you know you want to. If your you know your friend comes over and says, "Hey, let's watch this movie video," you know you can copy the DVD, which I don't condone piracy, but that's an option. All right, well, this video is way too long, and thanks for watching. Please rate accordingly. Um, yeah, so uh, there you go. Awkward ending. Bye.